In this video, we will be discussing the inverse DTFT. The inverse DTFT takes you from the frequency domain back to the time domain. It does so by using the synthesis equation where x of k is equal to 1 over 2 pi integral of negative pi to pi where of x omega times e raised to the j k omega to d omega. Now our sequence in this, as you can see above, is x omega is, or no, our sequence, our DTFT in this problem is x omega is equal to 1 where the integral is pi over 4 less than absolute value of omega, and le which is less than 3 pi over 4. Elsewhere it is 0. Now we need to recall the synthesis equation as shown below, and we need to realize that our function DTFT function is an even function, therefore we can split the synthesis equation into two parts, the cosine and sine part. By doing so, we will get, we will obtain the integral of pi, negative pi to pi, x omega times cosine omega k d omega plus j over 2 pi integral of negative pi to pi of x omega times sine omega k and then d omega where the cosine is our even function our even part of our DTFT function and the sine part is our odd part of our DTFT function since there is no odd part to our DTFT we know that the right integral goes to zero Next, since it's even, we can change our integral to 2 over 2 pi to include for both halves of the axis. And then the integral changes from negative pi to pi to 0 to pi. Let us draw the plot for you first. Once again, the integral now changes to 2 over 2 pi, integral of 0 to pi of x omega times cosine omega k d omega. So we'll now plug in for our x of omega. Our x of omega is 0 everywhere but where it is pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. So therefore, our integral changes even further to 1 over pi Our integral changes to 1 over pi the integral of pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4 cosine omega k d omega which is equal to 1 over pi bracket sine omega k over k in bracket of the integral of pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. Alright, from here we go ahead and solve out for those intervals. And we have now found our sequence of interest of x of k. And we have returned to the time domain from the frequency domain. This ends this problem.